Good morning, Freddy Bunch. I hope you all are doing really well today. I have something super fun planned uh, to make for you all this morning um, to sort of uh, thank you all for my 50 subscribers that are out there. Um, really means a lot to me that you have subscribed to my channel and I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but it is to me and um, you know, when I started my channel, I didn't really expect to gain much from it. Um, I just sort of did it for fun because like I love to cook and I love to bake and um, when I first started I had so many questions and you know I had to figure all these things out on my own so I just wanted to come here and you know sort of provide a resource for you all um, and some fun recipes along the way you know to try out for yourselves and and see how you like it and um, explain why things are done the way that they're done um, in terms of baking. And it's been super fun for me and I love it and I love providing content for, for you all and I just wanted to say thank you for all of your support and um, for sticking with me from the beginning. I know I went on a little bit of a hiatus there for a while but um, I'm back now and I've been back and I'm super super happy with the content that I've been providing you all and I'm excited about the traffic that my channel has been getting so I just I wanted to do something special for you all um, for a 50 subscriber special um, just to say thank you for um, for everything and um, <clears throat> I'm sure many of you are familiar with the television show Friends um, there is a Thanksgiving episode I believe it's in season six where Rachel makes a Thanksgiving trifle, <clears throat> a traditional English trifle, but um, it doesn't exactly go according to plan. Uh, she ends up mixing two recipes when two pages of the book stick together. So it's part traditional English trifle, part shepherd's pie. <laughs> So I am making the terrible Thanksgiving trifle for you all today and I wanted it to be authentic. I really thought like, oh, I'll just, I'll just do a fake out, you know, because there are recipes for a fake Thanksgiving trifle out there um, where instead of the uh, ground beef with sauteed peas and onions, <clears throat> it is um, like shredded coconut and sandwich cookies and like green candy pieces. And y'all are lucky that I don't really like coconut, so, um, but no, I wanted to be authentic and true to the actual terrible trifle, but, um, I do not condone food waste, so I'm just making a single serving. And as far as everything else goes, um, you know, I've, I've taken a few shortcuts, um, you know, I'm using <laughs> Walmart pound cake and I'm using, um, you know, pudding mix instead of ladyfingers and um, custard, but uh, the the heart is still there behind it, and um, I just uh, wanted to make this easy and short and fun for you all. Um, just you know, again to say thank you. But I am I did want you to watch me, um, you know, make my uh, ground beef, and I I don't like peas. <laughs> So I'm omitting the peas, but I am going to, um, to do a little bit of um, ground beef and onions together. Um, and I wanted you to watch me make that so you knew that I was actually browning hamburger and, and doing this all. So I have um, some very, very lean uh, ground beef. It's a 93.7 grade um, ground beef. And we're just going to use a little bit of it. I normally don't buy beef this lean, but... Um, since I'm doing this trifle, um, I didn't want it to be excessively like fatty because again, like I'm just making a single serving for myself. Um, and I don't want a lot of extra like oil and fat <laughs> for lack of a better word, fat. Uh, I just, I have, I have a few diced onions. It's literally like not even a quarter of an onion. I just like cut off the end and um, chopped it up pretty fine. I probably won't even use all of that. because Again, I'm not, I'm not gonna do a whole lot of ground, ground beef. <laughs> it's just gonna be a little bit because it's just one, one single serving. So. Just like, a, just like not even, not even a hamburger's worth of ground beef. Put in sprinkling of onions. <laughs> 
Okay, so our ground beef is done. Like I said, it's super lean, so I didn't really have too much fat to drain off from that, and there's a few onions sprinkled in in there. So I believe the layers go lady fingers, jam, custard, we have raspberries, um, more custard, um, lady fingers, um, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> uh, we'll figure it out as we go. Um, cause like I said, I only have one little thing here. So I bought this, um, mm, it smells really good. It's a vanilla cream cake. And I bought it from Walmart. Um, so it's not lady fingers because they didn't have lady fingers. And again, um, didn't really feel like making lady fingers just to um, throw them away in this dessert. Um, so, so, yeah, so I've altered it a little bit. So I'm just going to um, cut this up into small cubes. So. So there's our layer of lady fingers. <clears throat> so now it's a layer of raspberry jam, which I have this organic um, raspberry fruit spread. So there's raspberry layer. Custard, so this is just French vanilla pudding. Custard. So now I believe it was raspberries, but I could not find raspberries. They are hard to come by right now because Corona. Um, but I have a banana, so we're just gonna do two layers of bananas as opposed to a layer of raspberries and a layer of bananas. Bananas. So now I'm going to do another layer of lady fingers. Some more cake. Now at this point I think is where we put in the ground beef and onions. So I just barely did enough. <laughs> and with a little bit more jam. Ta-da. Now we need more custard, some more pudding. Another layer of bananas. And to top it all off, some extra creamy Ready Whip. Oh lordy. So there it is. Good custard. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to try and get a bite. It has a little bit of everything in it. So, whipped cream, banana, jam. Oh, fudge. I don't want that big of a banana piece. There we go. And just get a little bit of. Okay, so proof that you can see everything in there right oh god <laughs> i'm i'm so nervous i've um i actually reached 50 subscribers um about a week ago and um i've been putting off doing this um i committed though like i put it out there probably about a month ago so, hey if i get 50 subscribers at the time i think i had like 40 um so for me, 10 subscribers in the last 30, well actually now I believe I have 52 subscribers. So like 12 subscribers in the last 30 days is pretty huge for me. Um, so that's like a new subscriber like every other day pretty much. And it's it's pretty exciting for me and, and I love doing what I do, which is why I'm doing this for you guys. So, <laughs> cheers. Um,
Awesome. It's gone, okay? Down the hatch. Um, okay, so first and foremost, not as bad as I thought. <laughs> it's not great by any means. Oh, heck no. I feel bad about wasting this. I'll probably pick around the beef, to be honest with you. I'm just like eat the bananas in the pudding um, and the jam, because that was really good in the cake. Really, really good. Um, but yeah, ne definitely not as bad as I thought. It really, it didn't taste like feet, like Ross said, but I mean, Whipped cream, good. Jam, good. Bananas, good. You know, like, it just, and, and then the ground beef, I mean, it was good. It had, you know, it tasted like onion. So, I mean, at the end of it, the overriding flavor is like onion because it overpowered everything. But, yeah, overall, um, I mean, not terrible, you know? What's, what's not to like about bananas and pudding and jam? Tears what it is. <laughs> Thank you all so much for subscribing to my channel and for following me and sticking with me through this journey. I really, honestly, truly appreciate it. And you all mean so much to me <laughs> for putting up with my crazy self. So thank you all so much. And I'll see what I can come up with when I get to uh, 100 subscribers. <laughs> so um, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you all so much. And um, continue to take care of yourselves. Until next time.